Jasmine, you have some very powerful scenes in the series. What was it about your character that made you want to be a part of this project? Um, well, when I first read the script, I immediately fell in love with it. I thought it was, you know, a very important story to tell at the time. And when we first did a read through actually of um, the piece, it was me, Stefan, Antoine, and Seek Man that actually went into a room and um, just made the role of Taisha even better um, and evolved their relationship and kind of just made her actually more present, which I was really, really grateful for. Um, and we just made her stronger, honestly. I, I call her the Jill of all trades. She's like a superwoman mother that has managed to um, help her son through all of the chaos um, and try to find the truth um, when um, she's not given any answers. Um, and I think she, uh, she, yeah, she's she's just very strong and emotional, and um, I I I look up to her. All right, uh, Jasmine. Why do you think audiences should watch hashtag Free Rayshawn? I think audiences should watch Free Rayshawn because it gives a look into the emotion of what these victims and their families go through. Um, it gives almost, you know, this perspective of humanity when sometimes society doesn't even talk about them like they're actual humans. Um, so I think it's it's a window into real life and, and what, what they go through. Uh, Jasmine, how does it feel to be Emmy nominated along with your father who also received a nomination for his work in This Is Us? Um, to be nominated first time, same year as my dad, um, I think it's, I don't know. It's pretty incredible. It's a father and daughter. I don't think has ever been nominated in the same year before. Um, and it's really um, of a full circle moment for me. Um, my dad introduced me to theater when I was really, really young. And he's one of the reasons um, why I'm acting in the first place. And he's such a huge um, inspiration to me along with being an amazing father. So it's, um, it's, it's pretty cool. So the first question, uh, can you please describe your character, Lieutenant Stephen Pointy? So I play a character named Stephen Pointy, a Lieutenant in the New Orleans Police Department, who becomes the go-between between between a young man named Ray Sean and the police. Uh, he's barricaded himself in his apartment building with his wife and young child. And the police who have pursued him to his apartment building, um, he is suspected of killing one of their brother officers. Why was it important for you to play this particular role? And how does it feel to be Emmy nominated for it? I am so surprised and so happily surprised to be nominated for this part. Um, and I felt that the role was significant because I play an African-American police officer and their perspective is one that I don't think we hear enough of when it comes to these particular kind of situations. Hashtag Free Ray Sean was the first dramatic uh, project shot on Quibi. What made you want to get involved? Well, I have been interested in how content was going to be delivered to our personal devices for a long time and very excited about it. So when the opportunity came to be a part of sort of, you know, the version, the, the virgin voyage of such a thing, I was, I was very excited to be a part of that. Why do you think audiences should watch Free Ray Sean? Good question. Uh, I think people will enjoy it. First and foremost, I think the storytelling is great. I think the story is compelling, impactful, timely. Um, necessary. And I think people will get something out of it. I think people will be moved by it. Jasmine, you have some very powerful scenes in the series. 
What was it about your character that made you want to be a part of this project? Um, well, when I first read the script, I immediately fell in love with it. I thought it was, you know, a very important story to tell at the time. And when we first did a read through actually of um, the piece, it was me, Stefan, Antoine, and Seath Man that actually went into a room and um, just made the role of Taisha even better um, and evolved their relationship and kind of just made her actually more present, which I was really, really grateful for. Um, and we just made her stronger, honestly. I, I call her the Jill of all trades. She's like a superwoman mother that has managed to um, help her son through all of the chaos um, and try to find the truth um, when um, she's not given any answers. Um, and I think she, uh, she, yeah, she's, she's just very strong and emotional and um, I, I, I look up to her. Uh, Stefan, why was it important for you to take on this role? And has playing Rashawn, Rashawn changed your uh, perspective on law enforcement and victims of police brutality? Um, well, I mean, much like Jasmine and, and, and any actor, I mean, I think that you consider yourself for a project, um, you know, you want to be excited by it. You want to be excited by the role, which I was, and excited by the story. Um, but obviously, I felt like there was this social relevance and importance, um, you know, to this story. Um, as far as whether it's changed my outlook, not really. You know, I've been very familiar with these stories. Um, we see them all the time in the news. Um, these stories are unfortunately, you know, not so new or not so unheard of. Um, and so for me, I think just as an artist, it, it was just a great opportunity to be able to, again, just have a moment to shine light on some of these instances um, to, 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 you know, I think give a level of humanity to these characters um, is something that I really, really uh, was excited about. All right. Uh, Jasmine, why do you think audiences should watch Hashtag Free Rayshawn? I think audiences should watch Free Rayshawn because it gives a look into the emotion of what these victims and their families go through. Um, it gives almost, you know, this perspective of humanity when sometimes society doesn't even talk about them like they're actual humans. Um, so I think it's it's a window into real life and, and what, what they go through. Um, Stefan, each episode of Hashtag Free Rayshawn is an adrenaline thrill ride. As an actor, was the experience of shooting short form content different than your previous work? No, not at all. Um, I mean, you know, I think that we were all a little bit uh, weary of what exactly Quibi was and, and, and you know, what that would mean for our whole filming process. Um, but, you know, to me, you know, I've, I've done, you know, a number of films and this just felt like it fell in line with all of those films, just as far as pacing, as far as energy. You know, we had one great um, director, the captain of the ship, Seed Man, um, you know, so we weren't, switching directors from episode to episode, which was, was great to just have one voice. Um, you know, I think we, we, we shot it, you know, almost like a, a film. And so it felt very, very natural. Uh, Jasmine, how does it feel to be Emmy nominated along with your father who also received a nomination for his work in This Is Us? Um, to be nominated first time, same year as my dad, um, I think it's, I don't know, it's pretty incredible. It's a father and daughter, I don't think has ever been nominated in the same year before. Um, and it's really um, a, a full circle moment for me. Um, my dad introduced me to theater when I was really, really young and he's one of the reasons um, why I'm acting in the first place. And he's such a huge um, 
inspiration to me along with being an amazing father. So it's, um, it's, it's pretty cool. And Stefan, tell us, what was it like working with executive producer Antoine Fuqua and director Sith Main? Um, I really enjoy working with Antoine. I've been a big fan of his work, um, you know, for a long time. Uh, Antoine and I sat down for, for lunch, um, you know, the first time he presented me this idea of Free Ray Sean. Um, you know, that was sort of a, a modern day take on, on Dog Day Afternoon. And, you know, Dog Day Afternoon is one of my favorite films ever. Um, and to be able to do it with a guy like, you know, Antoine um, at the helm and, and obviously finding out that Steve Mann, who, who's been brilliant pretty much since the beginning, was going to be involved. It, it all just made it a really, really exciting prospects. Those guys are, um, you know, they're top of the line as far as vision, as far as execution. And I think that uh, we see a prime example of that in, in, in this piece. Uh, Stefan, why was it important for you to take on this role? And has playing Rashawn, Rashawn changed your uh, perspective on law enforcement and victims of police brutality? Um, well, I mean, much like Jasmine and, and, and any actor, I mean, I think that you consider yourself for a project. Um, you know, you want to be excited by it. You want to be excited by the role, which I was, and excited by the story. Um, but obviously, I felt like there was this social relevance and importance, um, you know, to this story. Um, as far as whether it's changed my outlook, not really. You know, I've been very familiar with these stories. Um, we see them all the time in the news. Um, these stories are unfortunately, you know, not so new or not so unheard of. Um, and so for me, I think just as an artist, it, it was just a great opportunity to be able to, again, just have a moment to shine light on some of these instances, um, to, 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 you know, I think give a level of humanity to these characters um, is something that I really, really uh, was excited about. Um, Stefan, each episode of Hashtag Free Ray Sean is an adrenaline thrill ride. As an actor, was the experience of shooting short form content different than your previous work? No, not at all. Um, I mean, you know, I think that we were all a little bit uh, weary of what exactly Quibi was and, 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 you know, what that would mean for our whole filming process. Um, but, you know, to me, you know, I've, I've done you know, a number of films and this just felt like it fell in line with all of those films, just as far as pacing, as far as energy. You know, we had one great um, director, the captain of the ship, Steve Mann. Um, you know, so we weren't switching directors from episode to episode, which was, was great to just have one voice. Um, you know, I think we, we, we shot it, you know, almost like a, a film. And so it felt very, very natural. And Stefan, tell us, what was it like working with executive producer Antoine Fuqua and director Sith Main? Um, I really enjoy working with Antoine. I've been a big fan of his work, um, you know, for a long time. Uh, Antoine and I sat down for, for lunch, um, you know, the first time he presented me this idea of Free Ray Sean. Um, you know, that was sort of a, a modern day take on, on Dog Day Afternoon. And, you know, Dog Day Afternoon is one of my favorite films ever. Um, and to be able to do it with a guy like, you know, Antoine um, at the helm and, and obviously finding out that Steve Mann, who, who's been brilliant pretty much since the beginning, was going to be involved. It, it all just made it a really, really exciting prospects. Those guys are, um, you know, they're top of the line as far as vision, as far as execution. And I think that uh, we see a prime example of that in, in, in this piece.